Hey everybody. Today we're doing some calculations in the t distribution using R. We're going to work through these three problems one at a time. Let's jump right in with the first one. As with any continuous probability distribution, we compute probabilities in t distributions using a CDF, a cumulative distribution function. The idea here is that we're going to plug in some t value, in this case 0.44, and the CDF is going to give us back the probability of randomly getting a t-score less than or equal to the value we plugged in. Visually, it means we graph a bell curve. Um, the t-distributions all have roughly bell shapes. We label the t-score we're interested in, here, 0.44, and we shade the area to the left of that t-score. The probability is going to be that shaded area. Um, I strongly recommend against doing t calculations using tables, um, for example, tables that you might find in the back of an introductory stats book. It's possible, but it's hard and less accurate. I strongly recommend using R. In R, the command that will um, that corresponds to the CDF of a t distribution is PT. It needs two arguments. First of all, the t value that you're interested in, here 0.44 and secondly the number of degrees of freedom okay so let's switch over to r and take a look let's do pt of 0.44 comma 26 again the t value we're interested in and then the number of degrees of freedom we get 0.668 again this is the probability of randomly getting a t-score less than or equal to 0.44 in this t distribution what we're saying here is that that shaded area is about 66.8% of the area under that graph. Problem two, find the probability that t is between negative 0.8 and 0.5 in the t distribution with 19 degrees of freedom. So here's a rough sketch. We want to get this shaded area when the total under, area under that curve is one. Um, in this case, the area we're interested in is not a full tail to the left of one value. So our strategy is simple. We're going to get the area to the left of t equals 0.5 and then subtract the area to the left of negative 0.8. So we need to do two pt commands with a subtraction in, in between. So let's swap over to r and do these two. We need to do pt of 0.5 comma 19 minus pt of negative 0.8 comma 19. And this time we get 0.472 approximately. So the area of that shaded region is 0.472, and the probability of randomly getting a t-score between negative 0.8 and 0.5 in t of 19 is about 47.2%. Problem three, find a value tau such that the probability that t is less than or equal to tau is 0.3 in the t distribution with 50 degrees of freedom. So this problem is slightly different. Here, instead of being given a t value and um, having to compute a probability, we're given a probability and we have to compute a t value. So this is an inverse CDF calculation. Here's the picture. We have a shaded area of 0.3, a probability of 0.3, and I've labeled the cutoff there t equals tau. We need to find what tau is. Now we could use the pt command um, to try and sort of guess and check. We might try plugging in negative 1, negative 2, negative 0.5, all with 50 degrees of freedom, and try and home in on a probability of the probability of 0.3. There's a better way, however. R has a built-in function for the inverse CDF function for the t distribution, namely qt. In this case, we're doing qt of 0.3 comma 50. The two arguments, the probability and the number of degrees of freedom. So let's swipe over to R and do the qt command, 0.3 comma 50. We get negative 0.5277. Um, and that's perfectly reasonable that we would get a negative number here. We expect it to be less than zero. Um, Remember, the center of that bell curve is going to be at t equals 0, as with any t distribution. 